All right, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey through the human body like you've never seen before. Don't worry, there won't be any exams and no PowerPoint presentations either. Just sit back and let's discover what we all have in common, aside from the ability to complain about the weather. Chromosomes, your personal data packages. So you probably know that you're a human, but do you know what really makes you one? No, it's not your Netflix subscription or your daily coffee consumption, it's your chromosomes. Think of them as tiny data packages zooming around inside you like super organized bureaucrats who never call in sick. In total, you have 46 of these things. That's exactly the right amount. Not too many, not too few, the Goldilocks amount. Too many or too few chromosomes and things get problematic. But don't worry, we all hit the chromosome lottery when we were born. Now you might be wondering, what do they actually do all day? Good question. They make sure your body works, kind of like an operating system that never updates, but somehow still runs. These chromosomes are made up of genes. Yes, the things that explain why you might have your uncle's nose, or that unique talent for tripping over your own feet. The best part, you don't even have to think about it. Your chromosomes are doing their thing, whether you're fast asleep or desperately trying to figure out how to do your taxes. They're the unsung heroes of your life, and all without ever needing a break. Impressive, right? Your skin, the biggest and most useful jacket you'll ever wear. Quick question, what are you wearing right now? No matter what it is, your skin is the biggest and most practical outfit you'll ever own. It always fits perfectly, never too tight or too loose. Well, except maybe after eating five slices of pizza. But that's a different story. Your skin is like an invisible superhero, constantly on duty. It protects you from all the nasty things out there, bacteria, viruses, sharp objects, and sometimes even yourself when you don't handle a razor carefully. It also keeps all your insides, well, inside. Trust me, without skin, things would get really messy. Leaving a trail of slime like a snail wouldn't be so attractive, would it? And as if that wasn't enough, your skin also regulates your temperature. It's basically your built-in air conditioner. When you're hot, you sweat and voila, instant cooling. Sure, sometimes it gets awkward when you're in the subway and suddenly look like a leaky faucet. But hey, better that than overheating, right? Oh, and one more thing. Your skin is constantly regenerating. Yes, you lose skin cells every day, but don't worry, most of them end up as dust in your room. In a few years, you'll literally be a new person, at least on the outside, new and improved, without needing to download an app. Your teeth, the body's construction crew. Teeth, those hard white things that let you bite into a burger without looking like you're struggling with a bowl of pudding. You've typically got 32 of them, if you keep your wisdom teeth, those are like the shy cousins of the tooth family, showing up late to the party and often leaving early. Now, teeth aren't just for chewing food. Oh no, they're also your personal toolbox for communication. Anyone who's ever tried to talk with a toothache will tell you that speaking without teeth makes things tricky. Teeth are crucial for making your words understandable. Imagine trying to say chips without teeth. It sound more like thips, and that's far less impressive. Your teeth work hard to keep you looking good, but they ask for a little care in return. Yes, that means brushing. I know, you didn't invent it, and you probably don't love it, but trust me, your teeth appreciate it. And if they don't, well, dentists do love their nice cars. Oh, and don't forget the tooth fairy. She pays better than some side gigs, at least until you hit a certain age. After that, it gets tricky to earn money from lost teeth. So, take good care of them. Ribs, your personal body coach. Ever wonder why you're not just a squishy ball that looks like a poorly stuffed water balloon? One word, ribs. Yep, those bone pieces that form a shield around your chest, stopping your vital organs from going on an unplanned vacation every time you do a cartwheel. You have 24 ribs, divided into 12 on each side. They're like a super efficient scaffolding system holding everything together. And the best part, 
They're flexible enough to let you breathe without making you feel like you're being squished by a tight corset. Ribs sometimes get a lot of attention, especially when it comes to that whole Adam and Eve story. But let's stick to the facts. Your ribs are your personal bodyguard. They protect not just your heart and lungs, but also your liver and all the other important stuff you'd rather not lose. Ribs have a tough job and they never complain. Sure, they might break now and then, but that's usually your fault. Like when you thought, hey, let's jump off this wall was a good idea. They heal themselves, but it takes time. So take it easy and remember, they're working hard for you. Your heart, the pump that never takes a break. If there's one part of your body that can never be lazy, it's your heart. This thing beats nonstop from the moment you first see the light of day until the moment you draw your last breath. It's like the most annoying clock ever one you can't turn off, but it's crucial for keeping you alive. Your heart is about the size of your fist. Go ahead, take a look. That's how small yet powerful it is. It pumps blood through your body like a hyperactive courier service, making sure oxygen and nutrients get everywhere they're needed. And all this without ever taking a break. No coffee, no coffee breaks, no clocking out. Think about it, 70 beats per minute, which adds up to 100,000 beats per day. If you think you're busy, just imagine your heart. It pumps around 7,000 liters of blood through your body every day. That's like filling up a small pool with blood daily. Not that you'd ever want to, but still it's impressive, right? And while you sleep, your heart keeps going. While you binge Netflix, eat pizza, or wonder why you even went to that party, your heart is beating. It's the true MVP, most valuable pump of your life. So give it a little love now and then by sending it some salad or a bit of exercise, not just burgers and fries, just a little bit. So there you have it, the fascinating, incredible, and sometimes totally underappreciated parts of the human body. You, me, and every person out there has these amazing biological helpers that keep us going through the day, whether we notice them or not. Next time you take a break, remember, your heart, your skin, your teeth, and your chromosomes never do. Be nice to them.